Chevy is so proud of their Wixom Performance Build Center, where they assemble the motors for their high-end Corvettes, they featured the factory in their latest commercial. It's nice to know America still builds rockets. The UAW workers here pump out engines for Chevy's most expensive and sought-after Corvettes, the 638-horsepower ZR1 and the 505-horse Z06. This would be the first station in the assembly process. We start with a, a bare block. They move the block from station to station, adding cams, pistons, cranks, valves, spark plugs, even supercharger. Everything it takes to make a race engine. At each stop, there's a parts assembly waiting and a barcode scanner to sync the torque of the tool to the part. It's a system that's nearly foolproof, allowing GM to offer a 100,000 mile warranty on an engine that's built to abuse. They test them right there, first just spinning it up with an electric motor, then actually starting it up and running it on natural gas, making sure it's tight and balanced. These engines are then shipped to the Corvette factory in Kentucky to be installed. End of the story, right? Well, not today. You see, Bob Buecher loves Corvettes. So much, in fact, that he paid 5,800 bucks to hand build his own ZR1 engine. Bob admits he's not a gearhead or even mechanically inclined. He just signed up for the Corvette engine build program. They are expected to bolt on and assemble every aspect of the engine. Customers get expert advice and guidance throughout the build, like a boss hovering over them. Keep in mind, this is all for fun, but it's serious business. We come along it's a window into what made America great, actually. It's almost a spiritual experience. We invented the car, we invented the assembly line, we invented high performance racing, and this is watching it all happen here and being part of it. As Bob attaches the intercooler, one of the final touches, he says this has got to be one of the top three things he's ever done. I put this up there with a couple of things. Rafting the Grand Canyon, and the first time I really went into the Rocky Mountains. It's sort of that magnitude. And probably the best part, once Bob's nameplate goes on the engine as the builder, this car becomes an instant collector's item. It's a collector's item for Bob and Bob's son Bob and Bob's grandson Bob, actually, is what it is. Good thing it still has that 100,000 mile factory warranty. Sounds like it's going to be around for a while.